Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Dongan Rampa. Today we're gonna talk to Kuwabara. Or Mondo. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Hey, hey, watch your fucking mouth. This is YouTube, alright? Ultimate bike gang leader. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means <clears throat> it's the current leader of the largest biker gang in the Japan. He's earned the respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Thoughts? Um, um, nice to meet you? Yo. Uh, hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Let me guess. Heart of gold. Uh, Junko... <laughs> it's, it can't be Junko, right? Junko and a Junko. Charmed, I'm sure. I guess. You got the crazy smile on you. Ultimate Fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. She's got a, a actually nice smile there, normal smile. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but. I feel like this doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Photoshop. Oh, dude, you said that out loud? Oh my god, you are an asshole. Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about like cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, they're totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, well, yeah, the top one is definitely photoshopped. Oh, and I'm guessing that means her normal smile is photoshopped too. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back like, like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. I'm totally normal these days to it's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'll be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> that makes the eyes and junk super big they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Is this the one you were talking about? Dots. Dots? Edelgard? Dots? Uh, can I ask you your name? Dots. My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Hi, Kyoko. Ultimate question mark. Dots. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? But you know... Her name doesn't didn't show up on anywhere in the Hope's Peaks Academy thread. And I didn't see there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I meant just like getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? Dots. That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? I guess you don't have to tell me. Ooh. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turn up online, so I'm thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. Maybe she's the ultimate iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. The ultimate type lip person! Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hi, Chihiro. Ultimate Programmer. Um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce, introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, oh, sorry. yeah, good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for what for that. I, I you know I came out as kind of like an ass thing to say, dog. You could have just been like, no, we didn't. We haven't met before. That's the yeah. nice way to say it. Oh yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um. Um. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um... You just seem... seem upset. You just must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. 
I oh, lost the thought. Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. I'm still not saying why your fans are into her. <laughs> All right. Hello. Oh, I'm just gonna wait for you to pronounce that. Hey, ya. I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you Hina. I think. Ultimate swimming, uh, swimming pro. Okay. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's been chosen as an up-and-coming Olympic, Olympic candidate. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. In combination with her abilities, appearance, and um, proportions, she has been widely discussed online. Of course they have. So, um, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Nagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it! Okay, here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! She just kept repeating my name, moving her fingers across her palms like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times! I've never heard of that before in my life. I'm actually with you, dog. That I'd never heard. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? What, can't you read? It's N-A-E-G-I. You spell it exactly- Dog, just spell it for her! Okay? You don't have to- you don't have to say that! <laughs> Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I just, I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. I mean, I could just tell you. But apparently I'm not. Anyways, good to meet ya. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I've learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Those four over there are the only ones. Let's start with this lovely lady. I am Sakura Ogami. Hi, Sakura. Ultimate Martial Soul Artist, yeah? You look like you're in your 40s. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I was said something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Yeah, probably. But now I remember, she competed in the martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. How old is she? A third also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Oh, that's lovely. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Wow, you guys are all assholes. Any, okay, I mean, I did mistakenly think she might have been a guy, too. But at the same time, she does look like one of those anime, muscular men people. Any incoming Hope's Peak students here are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Yes? I snapped through attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular qualities and qu uh, quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Huh, what a shame. You're not fit at all that because my training partner. I'm not sure that's a shame for me. Don't judge a book by its cover. She might be very nice. Hello? Name's Byakuya Togami. Okay, Byakuya. Byakuya? Sure. Affluent... So he's rich. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Uh, he's already started managing business operations and his own personal assist assets are, well, vast. His title is Ultimate Affluent Prodigy is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hopes of Peaks Academy threads online. Come on. We're done with the introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never be on the same level. Like a king in training. I just, I don't know. Hey, you want a training par uh, partner, Sakura? Pick this dog. Hey, man, what I'm up? Yasuhiro Hagakure. Yasuhiro. Hero, easy, yeah. for sure. Okay. I I will. Sure. How'd you get your hair like that, dog? Clairvoyant, huh? Known as the supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. 
Huh? What happened? Serious. I saw it. Looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with crazy perm cra uh, chasing after a Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in its mouth. What? The guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep in into Lemuria and its civilization. Are we? Are we high school students? We can't drink. We're not. Yeah, we're not allowed to drink. We're high school students. Yeah. No. Well, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and well, that's a long story. Get the fudge out of this school. If you are 21, you don't go to high school. You go you go to night school and get your GED. You don't go to high school. A few times, yeah, I bet it is a long story. Hello, Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Hi, Celestia Ludenberg. You're the ultimate gambler, huh? I thought they were gonna say you're like the ultimate gothic Lolita. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celeste Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would have much rather you call me Celeste. She's a boy. But pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about that. I guess the rumors in the thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who never, who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lodia clothes, exactly, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the uh, title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out all the players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Cool. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> the smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Uh, even though they're all ultimate, they s each have their own individual sort of uh, problems. You're looking for the word problems here. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. Let's get down to business. This is no time to be standing around making your friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Uh, you see, uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same thing is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Uh, just, <laughs> I mean, I just said the same thing. Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That every, that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. We, you saw where all the windows in the, uh, in the classroom and the hallway were, right? Yeah. But instead of normal glass windows, it's a bunch of big metal plates. What's about, what about, what's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff is missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's going on? Mm. Huh, maybe we get caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. Is it like... What, like a kidnapping? Uh, you think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're actually not at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't you think, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just some part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy as uh, for a little little bit. I see. Oh, so you really you think that they want uh, they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, that's what, what, what if that's what if that's all it is? It's nap time for well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean? I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shed eye. I feel better everyone's... I feel... I can feel everyone's tension e evaporating. But then it began. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. My voice seemed totally out of place. I'm so playful and so completely unconcerned. 
I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread of, at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the, uh, the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Oh, that was fast. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. What if my earliest convenience is never? That's all. I'll be waiting. Dots. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> hey, what? You're just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, well, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Ah, huh. uh, oh, damn! I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why do they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Well, wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that is that is that. Then I'll see you all there. Anyway. No, 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 that anyone cares. But I'm gonna go too. Everyone just took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, the announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we'll learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. Still, still I'm kind of... No, I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll save here. I guess having backup saves isn't really going to do much, huh? So you are all the ones that stayed around? That seems weird. Well. Okay, so you don't have anything to say? Well. well, we'll just talk to them one by one, see if there's anything... Okay, you just repeat the same stuff. Listen. How about you? Uh, um. Yeah, no, something weird is definitely going on. Hey, at least the, the the role model guy, he's like, uh, not comp Hello? There's a TV. Oh, okay, so it's the same stuff as before. This is bad. <sighs> Shit. I, that, that's a good question, to be quite honest. I don't know what kind of game we're playing. What's this? A mailbox, there's nothing inside. All right, well, goodbye. So, where are we now? So that was the main hall. I thought it was gonna be like an exit or something like that, but no. It's a nurse's office. It's all boarded up. Okay, so we're kind of stuck to go in the... Oh, let's go in the ladies' room. Okay, I guess not. We'll go to the ladies' room some other time. Why is there a sword there? Hey, come on. God, I had no idea that Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. I really am much different from the time I spent in the juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, I mean, why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Uh, they're just trying to spook us. They're all they're all they'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing invented, ventured, nothing gained. Ugh, shit. Well, hell, if it ain't like I'm scared or nothing, let's get this, just get going, get this over with. Hey, damn it! Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop running! Stop, no running! Well, then. I too shall go. Yeah! Oh Jesus Christ! That noise! Hey, hey don't leave me here! Uh, okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the Y button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and other objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. So I accidentally found that out earlier. Display case, there are all sort kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimates, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their rewards. Dots. 
Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe she's just, I'm just imagining that. Um, um, where are all the other students? Why are they, why are we the only ones here? Not the TV. This is bad. I mean, yeah. Anything over here? Just the camera. Okay, nothing else, right? Uh, that's the whole thing, never mind. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance <laughs> entrance ceremony. Yo. See? Told ya. It's totally it's a totally normal entrance ceremony. Here was right. But in a way, they just that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Sure, why not? Oh, kind of anime. Nice belly button. Huh? A teddy bear? I wouldn't call it a teddy bear. I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Oh, is that because you're black and white and you're a bear? Isn't Kuma like bear or something like that? And, well, monocolor. Yeah. Good one, Cronus. Thanks, I know. And I am this school's headmaster. What is this music? What is this music? No, what is this music? It sounds like just a bunch of guys going ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba da. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. What was I seeing? What was I seeing was it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'm carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? The teddy bear can talk! <laughs> but cal calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside. Hey, come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokumo! And I am your headmaster! Say what? And move! Seriously, man, calm down. Probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA couldn't recreate or even comprehend it. But <laughs> Barrett? Oh god. But <laughs> god damn it, Teddy. But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dream. It, I just couldn't bear it. Fear that, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, let's moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Oh, okay, so. Huh. Has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand at attention and bow, and good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your you don't problem? have to say it back! Now then! Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect each such splendid hope, you'll live a communal life together solely without the confines of the school solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to rules and regulations at the school. Huh? Now then, regarding the end, of, end date for this communal life, there isn't one! In other words, you'll be here until the day you die! Such is the school life you've been assigned. What, what did you just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but no fear! We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for any of the common conveniences. Hold on That's the second. least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying uh, you have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of what uh, of that you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. 
Oh, and just for your information, you've completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about the dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again! Cut off? So there's metal plates all over the school? They're to keep us trapped in here. Are they to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're for! No matter how much you bit, yell, and scream for help, help will not come. So for all this and that, my, for all of that, and, so with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life with, uh, with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. C come on, what the hell is this? I don't care for the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. D yeah, Daniel. cut this shit out. It's, it isn't funny anymore. Unbeatable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided on your own free will to attend the Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you're all decided you want to leave? Hey, um... But, you know... I guess I did forget you one thing. There is one way you can leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually, As headmaster, I cr crafted a special clause for all those who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. Really? That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean, disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another one. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How do you do it? It doesn't matter. Just kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. Oh, that's gonna be easy. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst possible way. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that got your brain just flowing. Beat the heck out of a human creating a, a catching a salmon, huh? What? It beats the oh, beat the heck beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, right? What? No, I still don't get that. Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And if you just find... I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell is he talking about? To kill each other, it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering on about this all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. No? You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead. You go on and kill, kill, killing spree. Uh, All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right. Yeah, because, right? I, I mean, you know, this is all kind of the trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling with, like, thunder. Listen up, asshole! This has gone far, way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like, you're here? You son of a bitch! Uh, Mondo roared out, and then, with a sudden boom, it was the sound of a floorboard... Wait, wait, it was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked... Out and it kicked off and launched itself into the air. He flew out Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. 
Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! He did say go on a killing spree. What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it. What, no smartass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Oh, he's gonna blow up, isn't he? Stop the damn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I know she's her force, her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a single word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did, yeah. So I'm assuming there's multiple of those. The hell? What the? That sure was shit. As uh, that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ear, and I could smell gunpowder. The explosion might happen. Um, explosion might happen all at, all the times in the movies or whatever. But when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know that means that teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Uh, another one. D damn you, you, son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now. Well, yeah, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, does that mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well. Now then, lastly, to com commemorate, uh, commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! It's our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Ah, well, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have it on, uh, have the right one. Now this is your not. Now this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many uses to that, more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all the school regulations, so make sure you revert, review, uh, review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, will be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have a strict punishment in place for violators. Well then, uh, okay then, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundant. Abundantly dreary school life. And see ya! Oh. Get out of here, Apple software, up, up, software upgrade. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, uh, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or k kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. The other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that... that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. Now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is, this is, just, this is just, what is this? Ridiculous. A lie, it's what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, they, they all have to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, so if there's anyone here who's seriously consider uh, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, no one had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at each other. Who would be the e easiest target to kill? 
Oh, it, it is? Okay, so they might be playing a trick there, right? The easiest target to kill based on looks might not actually be that easy. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I can almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each other. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. Were we, forced, uh, we were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that's how my new school life began! This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. Now, can I only save in between chapters? Surviving students. Oh. Okay. To be continued? I hope not. Like, I just be just be going on, right? Oh, is this the intro? I might have to cut it if it's the intro, because there might be like a copyright stuff. But we'll see, I guess. I'll just put a timestamp down. Uh, yeah, that's that's the main character. That's me. <laughs> uh, that is definitely someone hanging there. Okay. Are we gonna lynch someone? Wait, that kind of looked like the hero. Monokuma. Hi, buddy. Okay, he's definitely gonna die. <laughs> I don't know, Sakura is just... Uh, it's, it's funny to see every time, but it's also kind of badass. Looks very familiar, Sakura. She looks... She, well, she looks like... Kind of like a couple of male fighters in video games. Is it Akuma kind of? Doesn't have the hair. So is is the mission to keep everyone alive? Or am I gonna actually have to like kill people? Which yeah, could be interesting either way. Got an item! You got- you see the school crest. Okay. Uh, do you want to save? From zero to hero. Yes, I would like to save, because that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why not my video so I can check out some of the content, see if it's your liking. If you're into watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash chronosplays, give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.